uh well hello ladies and gentlemen so welcome in today's video tutorial where we're going to look at uh, how to create um a program right a quadratic formula program right so in c plus plus so what we need to do right uh, first of all we just include our okay i should include io stream input in output stream then we are going to say using names name space std just like this then we start our main program just like that now what we need to do okay sorry okay retain zero so this is our our program skeletal retain zero just like this so first of all uh we can either use integers or doubles so let's say okay double right double uh we want to get some variable uh, some values as you see uh on a quadratic um, a formula right there will be a value of a a value of b and value of c if i remember and yeah just like this so this is the uh the variable names we want to call so we want to capture a value for a a value for b that's for the b squared or b okay sorry and then a value of c which we're going to be captured at 4 a 4 ac as you remember the formula and uh we will be want to store our result in a, a result okay well let me say okay because it will be like x is equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus ac of over 2a so we okay, want to get a uh, x1 a result for x1 and then a result for x2 then we just close our a declaration so a variable declaration just like this okay now we want to um, say something to the screen so let's tell the user to uh, to enter what enter uh uh, 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 enter a number right enter enter number just like this okay then we to give a space then we now want to capture the information from the user so we want to capture first of all we want to capture um our variable okay sorry our variable a then later on we want to capture variable b then we want to capture variable c just like that okay after that, right, uh, the program, let, let me get control save. Let's just pre run our program. Okay, let's wait for it. Okay, so it will ask a first number. Let's say the first number is 3, the second number is 5, this other number is 8, as you can see, but we need it to calculate. So now, on the other part, right, we now want to create the most exciting part and the crucial part. So, the first value will be stored in variable x1, x1, right? Where we're going to say, okay, our formula is what? Uh, is is minus what? As you can remember, it's called, uh, is minus b, right? Then plus, okay, then plus or minus, but our or minus, we're going to give it to x x2 right finding the other value of of what of x so first of all the, the first value will be find is minus b plus then the other one will be find is minus b minus right the square root okay so now we want to say uh, plus all right you uh, plus what the square root of what the square root of everything which will be in this bracket so we want what do you want to square here we want to um, put our formula in the square root the is um what what can i say guys the is b squared right so we're going to say we're going to say okay we're going to say b times b that's our b squared b times b is b squared then we're going to subtract what uh four well, then four multiplied by by a and multiplied by c right just like this then after that so now we want to um, exit the square root right okay so now we want to exit the square root of this part right so if this square root is squaring a b squared minus ac if minus 4ac right then uh two then we want to divide the whole thing by two uh, 
a two and what the value of two times a just like this but then if we work it out right it will just uh, divide into this one but we want to divide both of these so i'm going to put another um open bracket then i'm going to put another closing bracket okay sorry another closing bracket just like this to balance then i'm going to put my semicolon so now we're going to just copy the whole thing guys just copy the whole thing and we're going to paste it here but now we want to change this one because our quadratic formula is minus b plus or minus so this is minus b plus or minus then we get our answers so now we want to print out the, the output to the screen right okay like okay let me just let me see um okay how do i put next line i've almost i also so forgot okay the values of x are right just like this they need to print things below then we want to we create a output right to the screen so it's going to print uh the first value which is uh okay let me just do this the first value is the value of x1 right and then next is going to put uh this this thing which we put on made like x <laughs> we should put uh, uh maybe two or what another figure so we're going to say okay x2 there it will print something to the screen okay so before that guys i need to find my my notebook right so that we can put some uh, reasonable values within this one because if we put some unreasonable values it will print something which is not so good to see and yeah. so where is where did i do some quadratic things in my notebook okay so i found them so what we need to do now we just call you need to compile and run our program okay there is an error here so let's see where the error is okay and if so square root okay as you can see square root was not declared in this top now what we need to do right we'll go on the top of this of this part right we're going to include our our well, is it a, a header name called uh hash include right we are going to include cmeth just like this but we need to put them into this right left end and the right end sign let's just compile and run it and so for the value of a right we are going to reprogram this later for the value of a we are going to put um uh, two this is i'm taking from my notebook the value of b i'm going to give seven and the value of c we are going to put three as you can see these are the exact in in figures which i've got in in my math class so this is how we do it so but this not this one is not even good to see right we need to say enter um, value a or you can say coefficient of a or let's say enter a value and enter b value just like that so now we're going to re re recreate here right okay <clears throat> like how do i go about it let me just enter a value and uh, let me just copy the whole thing okay let me just do this so that you can see how it goes okay then i'm going to remove okay i'm going to remove everything from okay from this part and yeah then i'm going to copy this whole statement then i'm going to paste it and i'm going to paste it again and i'm going to give a space now we're going to change the values of enter uh, enter b value enter c value then i'm going to change the variable names p and c and let's see how it goes now okay enter a value a value all right our a value is two right our b value is seven and our c value is three as you can see this is how we create a quadratic expression or equation program using c plus plus so guys i really thank you for watching and if you've made it up to this end of the video then you're good to go cheers bye for now guys